Okay, welcome back to part three. So what I want to do now is create some macros that will execute by the machine itself just before it enters the sleep state and just as it's coming back up. That way I will make sure that the state variable is always set correctly. Uh, so add macro Python command and this one will say eg dot globals dot test equals entering sleep and I'll rename it I'll call this entering sleep And then I'll make a copy and I'll call this waking up. And this one will say Revo two is up. Now the tricky thing here obviously is to get the events that will trigger these macros. So in able to capture those events I need to actually put the machine in standby. I can't record that obviously. Uh, just a, a quick tip before I do that. Make, always make sure as you're developing your event cost tree that you do not have the checkbox in the lower left corner checked. That way event ghost is capturing all events that are going on on the machine. Once you're done with your configuration you can check that if you want and then uh, the log will only show events that you are actually using. Uh, so what I'll do now is I will enter a uh, st uh, standby state manually on the machine and let it capture those events so that I can then tie them to the macros. Uh, so that I will do that in part four.